but if you press C, you'll crouch, and K will take you back out to your orbital camera. And depending on how close you uh, you can kind of zoom in here, because <laughs> yeah. he's putting our two naked butts in it. That's I hilarious. got a great view. What is going on, guys? Unite the clans and a rally the geek back in your life from the Gaming Evolved Season 4 server. And that's what we did last episode. See that? Right behind us, man. Town hall, town center. Uh, we came in, took took a very plain starter build, and we turned it into quite the elaborate, nice looking house. People were generally happy with it. Yeah. We were afraid people would hate it. Yeah, I was really worried people would be like, "Why did you change our starter house?" <laughs> yeah, and I think I think Syntax showed this off in his video, and or to some extent because I did have people come into mind from his. Yeah. Um, and that was yeah, that was kind of fun. Lots of people saw episode one, so thank you guys. And sorry we're taking so long for episode two. But if all goes as planned today, Arali and I record episode two, episode three, and then we really get into, who knows, some fun collaborations. Yeah, man. Um, episode three, I will guide you guys through the build for episode two, you talk, this is today. Talk yeah, us through so what we're we, thinking. Yeah, so we kind of decided that we are going to be mobile. We want to be mobile on this server, right? So the idea is we're going to be able to yep. kind of build and move around and stuff. So to do that, we thought we'd make uh, something I make on every server when I start is a nest. It's the uh, a raft base that I yes. built way back in the day. It's actually the reason I started recording on YouTube. Like, I I just wanted yeah. to I wanted people to see that because I had people like that were you know, on the forums and everything trying to find a cool way to build a raft that it was like all starter you know? raft for survival. How do you get everything you need? Small package in a raft yeah. and it looks and would, good. Yeah, and it's just kind of it's meant to be just a like it's a mobile base building platform too. Like you'll have all the stuff you can gather on. You can just build. Now the the leads right. have put a bit of a kink into that plan because <laughs> right. So we have raft building has been through some oh, ups man. and downs, man. <laughs> At like I did Arctic Steamboat is one of my most popular builds. You did the Nest is one of your most yep. popular builds, and we saw what happens when the lead zip this <laughs> comes in. People go, oh, I can't drive rafts anymore. People lost their minds and over then, like, that way. like a patch or two ago, Wildcard took away the ability to build oh, uh, out the foundations. Like it got stuck and they couldn't do it. And right. Maximum. They... Yeah. Not only not only maximum, but I think only three by three. Yeah. You couldn't even you do a. Do. You couldn't do the two by whatever with the pontoon sticking out the side. Yep. And you couldn't um, you couldn't do the ceiling trick anymore. And it sounds like they have thankfully fixed that. It sounds like now. Right. We're modded. So. <laughs> so. Yes. Yeah, so. We're not playing by all the exact same rules, guys, and that's something we I'm starting to talk about more. We're playing on a server. We have Structures Plus. Uh, mm -hmm. We call this vanilla, but it, it's because it's vanilla with sprinkles. It's about as vanilla as PC players get, right? Right, right. Basically what uh, Gaming Evolved or uh, Pooping Evolved has been doing the last couple of years. Structures Plus, uh, which gives you better building up uh, uh, materials. Mm -hmm. Platforms Plus, yep. basically an upgrade. Things snap and things fit properly on tree platforms. Um, a thing that gets rid of fog if you want it to, because mm -hmm. we're all YouTubers. <laughs> and then there's one other one, but we'll talk about more about. There's a currency mod, there's... but we'll talk about getting getting rich next yeah. episode. And I, think I think we talked about the other two last time, but there's also two additional islandy things that have been placed in this one. Oh yeah. So there's yeah yeah death worms or something. Death worms are up by Carno Island, and then over by uh, the waterfalls where we built the GE Season Three um, community area. Yep is where they have, up the west coast yep, they have like a wyvern trench out in the island okay cool so those things are things we'll get into if we're doing mobile and we're doing building going to see those might not be on the top of the priority list but uh you know it's cool it's it is vanilla but it's you know we're still on the island we're still you know building with basically regular building pieces um, and today we're going to use some structures plus and we're going to build two uh, nests. Now, Arali, this is my favorite, one of my favorite things you've ever built. And for like six months, we've talked about how do we show it on my yeah. channel so people can see your amazing that idea. Um, and uh, today is the day. So we're going to place a couple of these and let me see if I can join you in the water mm -hmm. like that. Perfect. So we're going to do a couple of rafts and you're going to get us started. I guess we should get started. That's yeah, I know me too. I, we tend to ramble. So the, the kind of the basic thing we have to do to start, I th personally think to start any raft build is to lower foundations because lowering the foundations will put the raft in a better, safer place. Um, but the only kind of dirt that kind of drop it, this is a PVE build, right? So if you guys are here for a PVP build, this isn't going to be quite what you need because the raft will be exposed on the front for viewability while driving. Yes. And I mean, we do, uh, 
like we do that that's kind of what yeah. we do all that yeah. gameplay we're not fighting yeah. each other ever in this game it's not our style of play um so you start with a yeah, foundation and, and you want to start with the regular so, one too like that there's a couple pieces of this build that if you're using s plus you have you. to use traditional vanilla pieces for and i think i know how you line it up uh, middle middle building piece obviously with the yep. post hole and then you kind right? of want to get the uh you want to get so the two like the right and left legs when you go forward will just will, will like disappear through that that cross membrane about the same time so if you get real close to it you can kind of like just twist right or left a little bit to kind of get lined up it doesn't have to be perfect yeah. but and the, ra the raft wavers ever yeah. so slightly so I think we're pretty good on mine. Let me just go a little, little sidestep, a little sidestep. Okay. Right. I feel good. If it's not perfect, it's not perfect, but I think I did a good job. Oh, yeah, dude. That's golden. Okay. All right. So the trick that we use for the lowering is to use pillars now, and these have to be standard pillars as well. This has to be regular vanilla. Okay. And, and that's these. on my hot bar here as well. And we start with this snap point. We were basically just working this out before, and... And then this, okay, so I'm going to grab the Structures Plus Demolition Gun. So this is made much easier by having Structures Plus. It means we only need two pillars. If you're doing this without that, you're going to need like it's, it's, I think it's seven. Six. I think it's seven pillars you'll need at that point. So yeah, once you build that first one, right. you'll build one back from that too. It's a half foundation off, right? Yep, yep. And yep. you'll build one back farther after that one's in. Mine really doesn't want to... <laughs> yeah, it's getting kind of the bobble up and down, right? Back up a little bit, and it should right. give you just the one snap point. I'll try and find it. <laughs> right. It's going to be a little weird. Yeah, I'll tell you, though, the other thing you can do now is, if you couldn't get that, take out the foundation, and it only has one thing to snap to instead of the two that it's trying to. Oh, that gotcha. oh. that's all right. You don't need... You, you got... That was the foundation, right? Uh, I got the foundation. I broke the pillar. Oh, okay. <laughs> Give me a need one more pillar. Shoot. <laughs> Cut for me. So I took out, I broke a pillar, guys, but I took out my vanilla foundation, mm. and now I am doing this. Mm. And this one. trick, you if you don't know, you kind of, you probably already know, but you can lower the pillar one step by step um by taking out one and you hold keep on, snapping on. it to don't, the don't, next don't take it out yet don't take it oh out. You, okay you want to okay. go backwards from that one not forwards oh okay okay so i take this out yep and then go back one and this will like give us so. the right alignment and then you can kind of back and forth on these guys as you go okay i think all right and that All right, and then that. I just did totally the backwards of what I said to do. <laughs> and I'm afraid to go too far. Yeah, you'll get like three or four into it, and then you're going to want to just test the foundation to see where it snaps. Because the optimal okay. thing is to be just above. Um, right. So that would be, that would mean. Yeah. So that, tell me, that still one more no that's well yeah you can go one more or leave it right there that's about where i'm going to leave mine too because i like to have that little bit of a lip now here's the important thing to point out to people if i go one more then i'm a half foundation off so am i in the right place yeah because you want yeah that that one you want it to be almost centered over top of the rudder when you're done that will okay, disappear perfect. when we're done that won't be there anymore okay cool because that'll be one yes more right right but yeah okay sounds good so you got to get your your foundation into this position uh you can do this build totally vanilla we're using some structures plus but you really can so use a regular uh foundation and just break all the pillars going back and forth until you get it to this height and then this way you can still stand on here drive the raft i think all right so you said you want to kind of do it before and after right buddy yes so <laughs> <laughs> why, this watch, is dangerous <laughs> put up some sign signage yes you got your raft uh to the next stage and i was about to follow along and i was like let's just let's just show it um, because this is a really important part so how do you get to this phase you've basically built around the raft except for those two corners um yep. and we are gonna do it over on mine yep. i guess right so we can just shoot over there because this is this is the thing that they had changed uh that they, I think, have put back to working on vanilla 
is you can I think so. snap pieces underneath thatch again. Right. So speaking of, can you grab these before they sink to the oops? Oh, I got before they here. sink to the bottom of the water. Oh, you sure? Yep. Okay. Well, that's but, perfect. But we'll, okay. We'll build well, then, <laughs> Oh, and actually, uh, you can start. Uh, you can do the first four, right? Yep. So you can get actually the first. Oh, this first is perfect. Two. I can go K camera. Yep, and the rest will be thatch that go out from here. So from this spot, okay, because we don't have any that come right against that, right? We do thatch out like that. You should be Remind one, uh, one more yes, in the front. Yep, yep. yep. and then one yep, more in the back. That's right. Or two I'm more in the back. And um, the trick of this is that when you and the kind of the drawback is we're close to shore, so you can see because we're close to shore, you can see the foundation on my screen down at the very bottom. But if you back up a little bit you'll see that they'll snap to the bottom of that thatch. And when it's there, you can just click and it'll place itself in there. And this always worked in vanilla. This is how we did boat tutorials since we've been doing Ark on YouTube, basically, right? Yep. And then they very briefly took it away, and I think they've given it back. But we, on this server, we got it set up so that it worked. And, you know, yep. we changed the collision settings right away, and, basically. And I don't know if you, when you do this kind of stuff, I, and I'm going to show you guys at my mm -hmm. screen, UTC will probably show you in his too. Once you have these in and you've got foundations next to it, it's a little harder to see them. But if you like at the right angle, if you just press your button, your your, uh, your foundation button, you'll actually see it through the bottom of the thatch. Oh, the green. Yeah. Yes. You see, you kind of see the green sh like of going, okay, this is a placeable area. You kind of yep. see it showing through this little gap. So I've here. got that little tiny gap in the corner where the two meet on my screen. And if you just press the button, it's going to snap in place there. And you can do that for all of and these as we go. You can see the little line on my screen now. And if you do build this in vanilla, you, you lose all this, about half of your thatch. Yeah. Uh, because we're doing it here, I can use this demo gun, and I pick it back up and add it back to our inventory. This is, yeah, this is the evolution of building. This is how it works. This is just better. Evolution. It's nice not to lose everything. I know, right? <laughs> It'd just be nice. I, I like just want to go pick things up, guys. That's all I'm saying, wild card. Yeah. That's it. Like, I built this stone thing. Let me have yeah. it back. And then we can take out the original sure. now. Are you, is that it? We should. We oh, should yeah. The okay, wait. Let me boom. boom. Did I miss any? This is like that moment when you <laughs> you place the keystone in a bridge, actually, when you take this out. Now you go, okay, now we got it. This is, hold on, our, one, one sec. <laughs> <laughs> this is our shape. Yep. So this is the shape you'll need to kind of start building on the rest of it. But that's the most important part to get you started is the basic foundation layout. All right, we're back. Yep. We've got all this stuff to actually start building the internal stuff, right? Mm hmm Ready to go. All right, so you can, I have a, most of the stuff on my inventory. I was too, I'm too fat to carry I everything. I think I might have it all. You see. Yeah, he's, he's got some extra weight and on that, me. Is that right, right? So it, it goes straight down from here. Yep. Okay. So the first thing we're going to place in there is that ramp. And that that just stops you from doing UTC did right. right? it fell through. That'll give us a way to make sure right. we don't and do that. And it's your little entrance into your place. Now this, if you're not playing, is a door frame. If you're not playing with Structures Plus. For us, that's a double door frame, which comes with these double doors. Mm -hmm. Which I know you said save till the end, but just so I can show it off. So that's that's what oh, that yeah. is. I, no, I just don't I, like the sound. I, I understand. <laughs> I'm going to take him down until the end. <laughs> uh, like so. And then the next stage, and let's put these right here because we got to do a bunch of them. Boom, boom. Ooh. Hold on a sec. Like so. Okay, get that look That's down. it. Yep. <laughs> and so we're doing this on both sides, and then you're going to see, I'm not sure exactly where to go after this one, but this is the beginning of the shape, and then the yep. walls are going to come all the way back here to this yep. back row, and you basically have a slightly altered 3 by 3 So I'm going to just, like I said, I'm going to finish out the... Uh the back section here of the walls because we just have to leave the one out specifically that one uh oh right yeah here. we have the one it's the one yep yeah, it's the one over there that's open okay all right so the reason we do that is that with the uh the regular smithies you can't get them too close to the wall that's what UTC was talking about so like you'll see i'll put down five right now on vanilla this would be red there'd be no way for us to place this because it's too close to the wall it's, it has to be absurdly far away like you know you're wasting space Yep. when you do it so the easy option is to kind of just back like turn so you're facing the um like the inside of the raft and like on my screen unfortunately you see you can't see this unless you put one down i kind of can but there's a line where the actual walls are 
and you want to just kind of get close to that. And it's going to take a little trial and error if you've never done it before. But if you press C, you'll crouch, and K will take you back out to your orbital camera. And depending on how close you uh, you can kind of zoom in here, <laughs> just with our two naked I got butts a great in it, it's hilarious. View. So I got to back up a little bit more. So you guys can see that we're straight across the front right now. And then straight down, we're right about at the edge of where we need to be. And yeah. you, once you place that piece in, you're totally fine. It's, it's once it's once it's there, you just want to get a wall out and make sure it oh, fits. Oh man, our placement was close. So I I, I had so, to be a little further in and a little further to the left, but that's it. Yeah. So okay. perfect. So I, we've shown that off. That's perfect. So yep. that and makes I'll, it vanilla for you guys who are totally vanilla console people. Yep. And I'll always try to put the window. The reason we put windows here, by the way, on the front three, is this is going to be the place where you access most of your stuff, and you can do it from the outside this way. Yep. Brilliant. So you like when it comes to building and I got I got to mention this you guys who watch my channel you know I will build stuff that has no real purpose I just like the way it looks uh, for Arali you're this when you are at your your best and your builds are the best I think it's when you're innovating like to solve a problem and going yeah. how does something in game that I need to solve your everything is very has great utility all your designs Yeah I always wanted like I I wanted to have a base that I could like when I first did this, I just had a place I could like log off someplace and know I was relatively safe. Um, from the rivers with this, once this is done, you can actually tame things off on the sides because you could there'll be a little roof section you get on top of, and it keeps you relatively safe from that stuff. But I wanted a place I could just kind of like log off and have all of the things I need to build anytime I want and just be able to be mobile all the time. So yeah, I like the I like the challenge of trying to find that weird way to make something work the way I want it to. Right. All right, so I think I got mine in, and it was one window you left off for the smithy. It would be right here on this build. Um, so that's it. I think I think I'm caught up to where you are. Yeah. Um, yep. And then the, you should have one stone ceiling, right? Yes. This will be a little jumpy, but it goes right over top of the rudder. Now, do we put the wall in place before or after the wall that goes above the door? Oh, there isn't. No, so I'm you forgetting. To... You're right. I got you now. Right. Right. There won't be one on that side, but there will be one on the outside, and that's actually one of the other weird things with S plus and Villa we'll have to play with and just So see. how important is the positioning if people have it jumping around all over the place like I do? Does not matter. Okay. It it makes zero okay. difference on that. Boom. So done. Clipped in. All right. And then now wall goes on the very front of it or window wall. Yeah, but so it's a wall, but here's where it gets a little weird. Mm -hmm. So S plus with adds a bunch of snap points, but they take away some as well. Okay. So Above this piece is going to be a ceiling that's going to be offset from the wall. It won't be square. Yep. And and I can't remember if it's the wall or the ceiling from S plus doesn't do that. So we're gonna I'm gonna place a regular wall first. I mind. I'm gonna try using an S plus. Ceiling. I think it's the ceilings that are different in S plus. Yeah, it is. So you can put the regular S plus wall up front and you'll be just fine then. And then we have I have one wooden ceiling that I'll actually take down once I put mine up. So you can do the same thing. And it's vanilla. So you put, Yep, it's a vanilla one, because the vanilla ones will let you do the half-off snap. So with the regular ceiling, when you get it up there, you'll see that on my... So on my screen, you'll see that it snapped half-off. Yep. Now you can see that on yours, too. And once that's up on yours, you can just snap a regular ceiling off to the side of it, or an S-plus ceiling off to the side of it. Because we now have that snap point. Um, yep. I no. gotcha. Right. You can use vanilla to get things out of S-plus that you otherwise couldn't. Right. You don't have your smithy in place yet, so this might be a little difficult. You might want to place your smithy just to be able to do this part and then take it back down. But to place the bed where I usually place it, you're going to want to jump up on top of your smithy. Oh, okay. Well, I can do that. I can place this yeah, down. It doesn't have to be in the same spot as mine. Just place something. You just need something you can stand on top of because that little cubby that we put over top of the rudder is where we're going to store our bed to get it out of the way. Okay. Well, here, I'll I'll do it like... Oh, I don't think I brought the beds with me. <laughs> no, I think I have. I have, have one. Both of them? Just one. Okay. Yes. So I left mine over here. I'm going to get okay. it. So, so if you step on top of that, you want to put that kind of towards the very front of the uh, the wall. I can always pick it up again if I don't like it. That works. That yep. is pretty well centered. Okay. And then you can jump up there and change the name if you want to real quick. Yep. I already changed my boat name, I think. Oh, I haven't done that yet. That's smart. Smarty pants. What's yours yes. called? I think UTC's nest. Ah, nice. I've never had a nest before. I'm excited for it. <laughs> Oops. I've, be I've been in many. Been in many yeah, variations, I think. 
because I make so many different versions of this thing. It's so flying cool. ones and mm-hmm. it, did you make a fly? You did, right? Yep, the sand skip was actually the first one I made that was a uh, that was yeah. made for flying too. Because like we it. have on uh, one of our servers we have a flying raft mod, which is amazing. Yes, yeah, where the it's basically like you, you can go on the water. It's an exactly a raft, and then poosh, like a pelagornis go from sea mm-hmm. to air, boom to boom. A rally right, made so his like can... a drop ship. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Oh, I I didn't make enough ceilings. I forgot we we're supposed to make more. <laughs> uh, I got five. I think okay. You need to have eight all together. Okay, I got seven all together, and I think yeah. it's because I broke the vanilla one. So I have to take a break here to make those real quick, and then we can come right back. Yeah, that's no no worries. Okay, we will be right back. Rain, rain, rain. There's that beautiful rain, baby. Oh, yeah, raining. This is nice, though, here. We need it from time to time, actually. Yep. On the, on the center, you never need it. I never need a water jar. <laughs> it's, all, it's always raining. <laughs> so we've completed these. You go eight wood ceilings deep, and they're on this off, off-kilter position. And that's going to actually give us the basis for a, uh, a flyer platform when we're all done. Like That'll be a place you can land flyers. Is our next step sloped stone walls? So you would think that, and this is actually something that I learned from Vanilla, um, when you do that, it gives you a very difficult time putting railings on the top. So the next step should be the catwalk that'll stick straight out the front. All right. On the top. Straight out the front. Uh, oh. Middle. Back to, oh. towards the rudder, you mean. So this is our way of getting up easily, is by putting that there and then the rope ladder. Uh, I, so easily confused. And I always use the rope ladder because you can... Uh, like with vanilla ones, which I didn't do for this one. I, I meant to do vanilla. Vanilla ones, you can roll them back up, and then they'll be out of your way. Yes. Oh, that's right. But they disabled that for the uh, S plus one, so that's I'll have to switch that over. But why is that? Why would they like, do I, that? I don't know. I don't know. Is they it had a... it said at one point that you could retract all the ladders. They just kind of fold it up. So I imagine that was why. Huh. And then you got your you got your railings on you. Uh, I yes, I do totally. Okay. That is so weird. I didn't know they did that, um, but I'll take the ladder and I'll hop up there. And by the way, this does only half stick out. I... Oh yeah, because of the ceiling. Yeah. yeah, I just wasn't sure if I was snapping to the ceiling. Okay. Oh. And, we'll and then so here. you'll see that these snap in pretty easily. I think we're a couple short on this too. They snap in pretty easily. If you had put down the. Um, the wall the soap walls first they do not snap at all is that an s plus thing because they're trying to snap to the slope it's vanilla or s plus they both do that they both try to snap to the slope and all the way to the front but leave the front on with no railings right the front too open yep yep okay oh this rain stop raining all right now you can snap in those slope pieces no problem okay Boom. Once you get a flow, once you know, nope, it's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to get confident. Dang it. Bam. All in there. Building on camera is always takes longer. <laughs> it um, does. It's up, there's just too many snap points that likes to go in weird places sometimes. It's This game isn't isn't quite built for it. It's why I have, in one of my series, I've gotten to a point where I don't do as much. It's like, I'll talk, we'll build off camera, and I'll I'll talk about what I've done and and show it off and maybe people pick up tips and tricks, but we can't do the whole thing on camera. I just can't talk and be entertaining if that's the case. Because <laughs> there are times that like this like it like my screen right now, the slope roofs are freaking out. They're just every place they it can. It demands snap. your full attention. And that's where Q uh, Q helps on mine. I don't, I know you remap some of yours, but Q is your like your alternate snap button on my and the like the normal stuff. Tilda for me. Yeah. So I don't know why. Because you're didn't you Minecraft everything? It's ca- no, it's Canadian. This is how Canadians do the Oh, it's keys. okay. Well, I didn't know that was a Canadian thing. Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, you're right, man. This is a rough job. So you want to, if you place okay. the back one or two first, it should be easier to snap the rest in. There. Okay. So I'm, I can walk people through it. I've successfully managed it. I'm getting a few different snap points there, but I think as long as it looks good. We're not building anything off of these, so if they are slightly out of whack, yeah. it's not a big deal. 
as long as they're in the right position. Oh gosh, the front one's <laughs> nightmarish. <laughs> look at the uh, look at the angled wall. It should help a lot. It's, yeah, maybe. Oh, you're correct. All right. Sometimes I'll say this. Sometimes having a crosshair actually helps because you re you realize mm -hmm. what you're pointing it at and how it affects. You know the way that this thing is freaking out all over your screen. Although yep. I'm not doing a good job of it now. All right, so I'm going to start placing the internal stuff now. And then this is where you and I are probably going to differ because you can put your stuff once you, once you get that stupid ceiling to snap in or the roof to snap in. Yep. <laughs> Glad I'm doing it's the side that uh, you can see. Arc building, the best thing yeah. ever sometimes. I've said it. I'm like, I'm so lucky that people care enough to want to watch me build in this game, but why did I pick such a bad game to be have people care about me building in? <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if it was just nice, clean? Fun. Come to the outside. It works good in some situations. So that worked well. Um, so You got used to it. I did. So for me, for the interior, I'm going to just, I'll get you over here. Um, we'll mess around with it. We'll try some alternative setup. I don't have anything particular in mind, but why don't we take a break? We'll come back. We'll show off what your inside looks like. We'll show off some cool new inside I've looked like, and then maybe we'll slap some paint on these. Sounds good. Okay, cool. Well, let's take another break, guys. We will be right back. Thank you for hanging out with us. Back in a few. All right. Welcome back, guys. Take a look. Nest. Raft building 101. This is the starter raft. The starter raft. <laughs> yeah, the only one you're ever allowed to build. <laughs> I think so. Oh, and I got to level up here. Let me spend it quickly. Oh, Max you pooped weight. on the deck already? Now you've dubbed it. Oh, now it is officially christened the poop deck, I guess. And we're the one thing it's missing is a fabricator, but we're two levels from that, I yep. think. Um, so come on in, man. Explain to me the sort of logic of how you arrange everything the way you did. All right. So right behind me, as you walk in, we've got the preserving bin up top and then mortar and pestles on either side. So you've got yep. one you can use. Like I usually just use one for narcotics. And then like this one is going to be used for spark powder, spark powder and powder. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Cool. Um, and then the smithy, like you saw, we tucked into the corner here. Uh, it, S plus crafting table right next yeah, to it. And if you're not using the S plus stuff, you can put a forge over here too and have two forges in here. Nice. Uh, we built back so we could have a little bit of space for a fire on the inside and on the over, other side has the cooking pot. The space that mm -hmm. UTC is in right now is exactly the size you need for a fabricator. So it's too wide yeah. or yeah, too wide and, and one, like two by one essentially is what you have to do. Okay. And it fits Perfect. in there perfectly. So once we have that, hold on one second here, I'm sorry. <laughs> and you can hop right up here, access to this preserving bin. Mm -hmm. And then pretty good when you respawn back in, you'll just, you'll come here and you just got to kind of crouch down to walk out, which is nice. Yes. I feel like we, you've had to guide people. They're like, oh my God, I spawned inside a raft. Where am I? Yeah, it's like just crouch and, crouch so, and walk, crouch and walk. Little disorienting when you first yeah. get in, but yeah, crouch and walk and you're good. And then all the windows we put on the outside are there because if you open here you can access the s plus crafting station yeah the front will give you and access you got... to both yep and then on this side you've got access to the smithy and then if we go over here we've got our forge on this side and then on the other side is the cooking pot and you can access all those from the oh, outside man. good stuff and then once the fabricators here that's what these will open to as well as the fabricators so you can actually just kind of keep like a nice secure base essentially you know, but but yep. still be able to just bring like a crap. You know, if you get like a gather dino, you can just bring it up and, and right stick up your here. stuff right in there, and then we're good to go. And then plenty of space up front for gather dinos. Mm -hmm. You have in the past for people who are looking to you know take a bunch of stuff with them, put another strip of foundations off the yep. back, uh, be able to extend out there. And then this up here is built for your air yep. transport yep. for your flyers. But you can put whatever you want yep. up here. As long as you can get. And it actually, up there, on Primitive Plus, I think I had, uh, I had the only things, the only three things I had in the Primitive Plus series that we, uh, that my puzzle and uh, BLP are doing. Yep. Was an RG, a Beaver, and a Diplocalus, and I just left them all up top all the time. I picked them yeah. up with the bird and left them up here. So that's beautiful. Man, this little transport, if you're not doing, you can't pick up with like a bird. Okay, perfect. Now with yours, no paint scheme, and we did it how you have always done it in vanilla. So we kept it pretty vanilla for mine i just went a little crazy so we slapped some paint on it i was yep. trying to get a nautical look to it so it's white yep. and blue and yellow or navy and olive to be to be precise and uh, i just painted the little house part really i didn't touch the rest 
and I, it's one of I've done better paint jobs. This is a little bit busy. The striping is the part that's throwing me off, I think. But work in yeah, progress. Yeah, I think it's. But yeah, I mean, um, you know, it's the nice about paint, right? Just make some more. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have these. I just put white white light in them. I forgot about the colors, but I put the torches so they are attached to these ramps and on a slope. And I did wood ramps as my roof. Are you? <laughs> you opened your trap door. <laughs> Pardon me. What? Allow me. <laughs> there we go. I did wood ramps. So these S plus wood ramps as my roof. Yeah. And I turned them into stairs. So we got kind of like a lofty, airy feel to the place because these you can see right through. Yeah, it's a pretty cool idea, man. I like it. Yeah. And this will come into play next next episode. You will see something to this effect. Not not this, though. No. Um, included a dodo coop up there. Uh, with a bed, same positioning as yours, um, and a couple little dodos. You get your eggs up there with, and then the uh, best names you could possibly give a dodo. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> fox, what was it? the glum, <laughs> and fox, and the glumingo. Yeah, that was a that was a, a mistype, but I just thought it was too funny to leave it or to not leave it. It so. was very, it's a very glamorous <laughs> fleming uh, b b dodo, whatever you call it. Uh, we made it so you can access the storage here, and then. For mine, since we're doing S plus and we can kind of clip stuff right in, I took advantage of that. So I've got my forge and my smithy kind of on top of each other. So the anvil is right there in the middle of the forge. I love how that looks, man. Doesn't it? It looks great. It looks great. Yeah. And then um, stuck a preserving bin up here. And your idea, a couple little mortar and pestles on the shelf. Mm -hmm. So we got everything hidden away. And then on the back of mine, I did a little staircase. So it's going to be easy to get, get on and off. Yep. Like so. And I might be doing that too because um, that's a good idea. <laughs> I like it. It looks good. And it makes it easy to kind of access everything. Mm -hmm. Like you can come around the back without having a whole row of foundations back mm -hmm. here. Um, but yeah, that's it. So we had a plan. We we built these for a very specific reason. I think we have some probably have some sailing to do and we'll come back and, and wrap up this video with you guys. But thank you for hanging out for the build. Um, if you're watching the series and you want to see what we got in mind next, hang out and uh, and we will take these to our next destination. Oh, yeah, buddy. Uh, oh, look at you. <laughs> Spawn in the captain's hats for us. We need them. <laughs> <laughs> what? You okay? Is your hut off? Yeah. We just lost two parasaurs. Oh, a Therizino. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. It's right off. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> We just did that. <laughs> oh, what a jerk. Uh... <laughs> even a herbivore, not even going to eat them. <laughs> it's just killed the kill, man. It was, it was here for the thrill. That is ruthless. Oh, what a mess. Hey, just so you know, right. uh, going that way is going to suck now. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Well, all the pr uh, best laid plans, right? <laughs> I don't know the rest of the expression. Anyway, welcome back, people. Welcome back. Hey guys. We've gotten our rafts to a destination. And mm -hmm. if, you've been, if you've been playing Ark a long time, if you know the island map, you know we are very close to one of the best-looking locations on the map, the Hidden Lake. Oh, I love this place, man. This was my first, one of my first loves. The moment I wandered in here for the first time was fantastic. So we planned, we scouted ahead, Tamed up a couple weight-bearing dinos and figured we'd make a nice, easy trip back there. And um, and not very good at happens. scouting, I guess. Very. So let's just do we make let's make the foot journey, I guess, and just be very coy about it. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> like I mean, we'll just have to avoid. I mean, I've hidden from these like. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I, I think they shortened the aggro range a little bit, so it shouldn't be as bad as they when they first launched. But yeah, they always creep me out, man. Yeah. So All right. I see him <laughs> angling a little bit towards us. He's gonna do a little turn job. Our, our part. Oh, let's look at our poor parasaurs up there too. Yeah, those were our guys. Yeah, yeah they are our poor little parasaurs. He didn't even eat them. That is so ruthless. No. They, we wouldn't come. have to look at the corpses. Sorry, I'm. I'm trying to whistle to them, but they won't come. <laughs> oh God! Don't make me cry. <laughs> here, boy. Come here. <laughs> All right. I think we're All out right. of out of danger zone. Oh, why are you guys say things like that? Now another one's going to come out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, unless you're spawning them in. Oh, God, no. I'm not too worried. Okay, I think it's this way. 
right. So, let, yeah, going back to my first time making this trip, it was I started on that beach. I survived. I scrabbled. And one day I said, I'm going to go see what's in the jungle. And I came up over one of these ridges and I looked at this and it looked obviously different back yeah, then. Didn't, didn't but, they have cool ruins and stuff? Yeah. I mean, that is so good. What an awesome place. It's gorgeous. That um, is must -tops. And it all leads up to this, this crystal clear lake. And our GE Gaming of all friends have beaten us to it. I think they did a little preseason building to make, mm -hmm. make a home for the commercial area, the community center. And we got to figure out how to build into this and build a part of this. But uh, that will wait for next episode, I think. Um, yeah. We're here. We're here, man. Marketplace. We're, we're going to get rich. This is where it all happens. Gotta get rich. So next episode's about that cash, that bling. We're gonna build mm -hmm. a, a fancy, a, a, an office building that represents our sleek, <coughs> cosmopolitan style. And uh, <laughs> you're like, we're gonna build like this really cool thing in office building. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, wait and see. Wait and see but, how good look, it's gonna be. You guys know UTC and I. <laughs> like, it'll be cool. Looking. We got something good in the works. So I think that does it for this l very long episode we built a couple of rafts with you guys we sailed them out here to the hidden lake and next episode Raleigh and i will get to work on the building company headquarters and uh that's it i think i think we did it nice work man i like yeah the, i like the nest yep thank you for hanging with us for the whole episode guys if you haven't done it if you like our Raleigh's design click the like button and if you haven't subscribed to either of our channels go do it top of your description Absolutely. Um, Drop some comments. We always love hearing about anything you guys dig or don't like from that kind of stuff. Yeah. 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 And if you know what, if you got office building ideas, trust me, we got a good one, but feel free to drop it in there for us. Let us know what you are excited about. And uh -huh. then we will be back with episode three. We'll see you then. Catch you on the flip side, guys. Ooh. All right. Catch you on the flip side. I like when I set it up for you to do that.